Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Jersey. My name's Max and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be diving into a potential 2023 Rugby World Cup squad prediction for Samoa. For 2023, they're allowed to pick 33 players just like the other teams and I've previously done prediction videos for Tonga and South Africa. I'll have plenty more videos like this coming after the mid-year tests and a big, big thank you to my patrons before we start this video. I'm going to start off uh, reading through the squad from the outside backs. So um, we're going to start off, we're going to go down there and I'm going to name RC Tuala. He's had a very long, successful career, particularly with Northampton. And with 23 tests, that is quite a few tests for a small country. So he's definitely one of the more experienced players they have to pick from. Denny Solomona has moved back to New Zealand recently as well, and through Samoan ancestry, he could well become eligible for them. I'm not 100% sure on if he wants to play for them or not, but if he does, he is 100% going to get picked. Um, Ed Fidel was on track to become one of their highest ever try scorers too. After just 14 tests... He's got a lot of tries. Uh, Neria for Ma'i will round out the back three for me as well because of his versatility. Um, I've previously named the guy as one of the top 100 players in the world for very good reasons. He's powerful, but he's also got a passing game, a kicking game, and he's very quick. I'm going over to the midfielders, and I think Tim Nanai Williams, at 33 years old, may have to play in the 13 jersey for Samoa as backs do tend to slow down in their old age. Nanai Williams has a lot of experience though, so if he's fit, I doubt they're going to leave the guy out. Levi Almua, who's uncapped, was not called in for Samoa's squad this year, but um, I'm hoping they'll surely call him in ahead of um, 2023. He's eligible for Fiji, New Zealand and Australia as well, so Samoa would be doing him a huge disservice if he isn't picked. He's got so much raw power, so they cannot leave him out. Danish Hawala, a very exciting young prospect who went to school just down the road from where I live, um, is a very talented player as well, and I have no doubt that he'll be one for Samoa's future in the long term. And uh, Henry Taifu is probably going to feature there as well. He's a very calm, experienced player who you can rely on to uh, give you another kicking option. Over to the first fives, the reason I only went with four outside backs is because D'Angelo Leowila is probably going to be the third choice 10 and he can cover fullback as well which means there's probably just going to be the single specialist fullback in Tawala. Um, D'Angelo Leowila is a very clever tactician and Moana Pacifica have got to sign him ahead of 2023 Super Rugby season. Rodney Iona, um, he's got a lot of experience as well at 30 years old and he's one classy tactician too. Christian Liliafano, the former Wallaby, becomes eligible for Samoa in November this year too. I have no doubt that we could see Lelia Fano playing for Samoa as um, he's been vice captain of Moana Pacifica lately and has shown immense pride in his ancestry. Over to the halfbacks, we've got uh, a very good one-two punch over here. These two guys are both from Moana Pacifica. Uh, Jonathan Tomatieni has really kicked on since I did an end-of-season review for the Hurricanes last year and impressed me very much when debuting for Samoa. And uh, Eri Inari, who's currently uncapped, has been picked in their squad for this year. Um, he's half Māori, half Samoan, and he is going to do an absolutely excellent job filling in for Tomatieni off the bench for Samoa and uh, Pili Cowley at uh, 29 years old after 15 tests will still have a lot to offer so I have no questions they'll call in a very experienced tactician to be the third choice halfback. We're now going to go over to the forwards and Braden Yossi from the Hurricanes has impressed
impressed me very much lately. He's a strong carrier and um, he would not look out of place in Samoa's squad at all. And he's uh, done quite a few wonders on attack for the Hurricanes as of late, while he does have some very good tackle accuracy. Uh, Henry T. May Stow was probably the form number 8 of Super Rugby this season, will no doubt add to his four test caps for Samoa for the World Cup, and I have no doubt he'll start at number 8 for them if fit. Over to uh, the flankers and the loose forward setups, um, I do think Duplessis Karifi is a uh, very likely call up for Samoa, he's uh, got Samoan ancestry and um, he's defended quite well for the Hurricanes this season, he probably hasn't quite kicked on enough to be an All Black though, so hey, Samoa will quite easily come calling for Karifi and I think that if he gets called up by Samoa he's going to do very well for them. Jack Lamb at four, after 40 tests rather is one of Samoa's most capped all time players. I have no questions he will continue on to uh, give himself a World Cup swan song. Jordan Talfua has been picked for them this year at 30 years old. He's uncapped right now but is a powerful player that probably should have been called into their squad a few years back and he's going to be excellent for them when he makes his test debut this year. Elamanza Motunga, who can cover our 6 and 7, is uh, highly likely to get capped as well. He's 27 years old, has played 3 already, and he's so, so dynamic on both attack and defence. Over to the locks, Stephen Luatua. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I did read an article at some point which said he would turn down a possible call-up for Samoa, um, so I think it's quite safe to say that Sam Slade will be in the number 5 jersey. He can cover 6 and 5, but um, I think that he's probably a better line-out jumper than he is a jackler, so we'll probably see him a fair bit at lock. He's just 24 years old still, I believe, but he does turn 25 soon. Um, so it is good to have a young tight 5 forward committing their time for Samoa, and uh, Chris Vui is almost definitely going to be a key decision maker for them once again. He's a good runner of the line at, and at 29 years old, he's starting to just become one of those players who you really need in your national team for experience. Um, just 18 tests, but Samoa are just a little Pacific nation, so that is quite a few caps for them. Uh, Gerard Cowley Tuiotti, a lot of Blues fans will likely remember him. Um, he had a very uh, long and very successful career for the Blues, and he's eligible for Samoa. I have no doubt they are going to pick him because they are missing a gem in the form of him right now. Um, I don't watch the Japanese top league. Could somebody please fill me in in the comments if he's injured right now. I then think uh, to round out the locks, we'll see Theo McFarland, who debuted for them last year, and uh, they seem to have quite a strong eye for him. He's clearly got a lot of promise, so hopefully he can add to his two caps in the World Cup next year. We're now going over to the props, and I think we could also see another Hurricane joining the Samoan national team. Alex Fidel has uh, signed for North Harbour for this year, which means he could also possibly be relocating to Moana Pacifica and if he plays for them well you know that he's going to be playing for Samoa because he comes across as a man that's very very proud of his ancestry plus he's a devastating scrummager and runner of the ball. Paul Arlo Emili um, at 30 years old has become quite experienced as well and as they say you need experienced players to run things in the type 5 they always come into their prime when they reach their late 20s and that is particularly particularly the case for Michael Ala Alatoa, who is likely to be their captain. Um, he was eligible for the All Blacks and Australia, but he chose Samoa because of his pride in his country. And uh, Ala Alatoa has only played seven tests, but boy does he bring the right leadership to this side. Um, Aki Sayoli, after a very long career, has been in good form for the Dragons as well, and so I think we could probably see him get his first cap for Samoa pretty soon. If he does do well then, he'll go to the World Cup, absolutely. Jonah Awina, a bit of a uh, stalwart for Otago, could also be included at loose head prop. 26 years old with four tests, and um, he is very, very strong, so that would make him a good backup option for Longo V.E. Uh, Muli Pola. Please tell me if I've said his name correctly, I'm just not 100% sure how to pronounce it. 
Anyway, he's so, so powerful and he's had a very successful career up in Europe. He even represented Samoa meeting the Queen at one stage. Um, and make no mistake, if you're ever making a list of World Rugby's strongest players, he's gonna feature on it. Now to finish things off with the hookers, I do think it may be a bridge too far for Motu Matu'u. Um, so I think we are gonna see Ray Nuia taking over the number two jersey in the long term. Um, at 30 years old now, after 10 tests, he's been a bit of a regular for Samoa in recent years, while he was also probably the most successful line-out thrower for Moana Pacifica. Um, Jack Lamb's brother, C. Lala, please let me know if I'm saying his name correctly once again, I'm, I'm Pakiha. Um, he's uh, played 17 tests at 33 years old, he's just so, so experienced like his brother and he will give us all for some more like usual and uh, Luteru Tolai who also plays for Moana Pacifica um, I've lined him up as a very promising player for a few years now and I think we're going to start to see him rather come into his prime over the next few years so to wrap up the video guys this is my prediction on who Samoa will pick for the 2023 Rugby World Cup after the mid-year tests I'll name squads for the likes of Ireland, England, the All Blacks, maybe even Los Pumas, Scotland, a few others, depending on how much time I'm able to get. So um, I'm wishing Samoa all the best for 2023 for next year. I think they've actually got some quite good players um, that they can choose from. I mean, Lima Sopawanga hasn't even said whether he's keen to play or not, so... I mean, if that could get the green light, wow. Uh, much appreciated for viewing once again, guys. A big thank you to my patrons once again. And if you want to support me, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video, comment on this video, and hit the notification bell so you don't ever miss a new video. You can also support me monetarily through my Patreon, as I've said many times in the video, and my PayPal tip jar. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. And that is it from me. Bye-bye, guys.